Hello guys and welcome to this video. I'm Omar and today I will show you how you can find the slope and y-intercept between two variables and to check if there is a correlation between them. So I will do it using two ways. The first way is by using the formulas in Excel and second way is by drawing the graph and then getting these variables, the intercept and the slope out of it. So let's see how we can do that. So here I have these two variables, variable one and variable two. And I want to calculate the slope, y intercept, and correlation between these variables using the formulas in Excel. So first, let me start by the slope. So I will type equals slope non y s, which is the variable on y axis. I want the variable two on y axis, then the variable on x axis, and I will press enter. Here is my slope. Then I want the y-intercept. So the intercept equals intercept non ys also, then non xs. So it intercepts the y-axis at 0 0.0.68. Zero and now knowing the slope and the y-intercept, I can write the formula of the linear line that best fits between these two variables. So as you know, the function is y equals mx plus b. So m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So if I want to write now the equation of the straight line, it will be y equals 0 0.97 x plus 0 0.68 so here I have an equation for the straight line that best fits these two variables and now if I want to check the correlation between these variables and to see if the straight line fits the data or not so r if r is closer to one it means that there is a correlation between the two variables and if it's closer to zero it means that the straight line is not the best fit for the data that i have between these variables so i can calculate it by equals coral i'll choose arrays array one and array 2 so there's 0 0.99 correlation which is a very good number then if I want to check the percentage of variation in my linear regression I can do it by calculating R square and it equals square root of R so I can use the square root function, which is SQRT, square root of this cell, and it gives me 0.99 or 99%, which means that my model is very strong and that the straight line fitting between the data is taking into consideration 99% of the data that I have. And now the second way to do it is using the graph. So I will draw a graph between these variables i will select the variable two no need to select the variable one because i will insert a 2d line which will take the variable one automatically so this is my graph i want to calculate the slope or intercept and r square so i can go into the plus here next to the graph which is the chart elements then i will go into the trend line so here I can make the linear trend line, which is the line with the equation y equals 0.97x plus 0.68, which we calculated. And we can also go into more options. And from here, we can display the equation on chart, display r squared, 
at the event set the intercept but we have the intercept here 0.68 so as you can see it's the same equation here 0.9727x which is the slope plus 0.68 which is the y-intercept and the r square here is 0.9886 which varies a little bit from here but still 98% which means that this line fits 98% of the data that we have I hope this video was clear to you and that you learned how to calculate slope point intercept r r square there are more advanced that you can calculate and do which i may show you in the future in other videos but these are very basic things to know in excel in order to know in excel which can benefit you in the linear regression models that you want to create for your value don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like and share this video with your friends to help them also know about this information.